Hi all folks, this is Max from GalaxyCabHacks.com um, Anyway, today we're going to install a new ROM um, I've been having some trouble with the stock rooted ROM For some reason it won't upload my YouTube videos And some things are funky, like my market is kind of weird um, But today we're going to install this uh, ROM called TouchWiz UX uh, This is for Wi-Fi versions of Galaxy Tab 10.1 um, so what you gotta do is download the file. It's uh, called the uh, um, it's like hc dash three point one underscore touchwiz underscore ux underscore full blah 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 dot zip. Anyway, down go download it. You can download it on your tab or um, download it on your PC and copy it over to your Galaxy Tab. Once you've done that, also you need a rooted uh, Galaxy Tab ten point one. People sometimes ask me, oh, you didn't include that rooting method and you know but but that's just common sense you need to have um, your galaxy tab 10.1 rooted um, and also I'm gonna use this video as an example a tutorial on how to install a ROM on your galaxy tab 10.1 so I don't have to keep you know making these whole videos of installation anyway um, sorry for my a rambling here. Uh, what we're gonna do is power it off after you copy the ROM file over. Um, power off. All right. And then we're gonna power it back on by hitting the volume down button and the power button together. Right. The volume down is the one closest to the power when it turns off. Or you, or what you can do, you can just uh, hold on to both buttons and it'll reset your tab anyways. Um, so I'm going to hold down both buttons and when I see this uh, Android image after the Galaxy Tab logo, I'm going to let go immediately. There we go. I went. I would let go of it immediately and then I'm going to switch to uh, this mode by hitting volume, um, I think down. Yeah, volume down. And then hit the volume up. And this will get you into Clockwork Mod Recovery. If you don't know how to do this, it's on my site, um, galaxytabhacks.com. Um, so we're gonna go, we're gonna do white data factory reset, hit the power button, and then hit yes, hit the power button. And I'm gonna adjust my camera so you can see better. By the way, I installed a new sync, like it took me like two days. Um, oh, anyway, that's done, and uh, we're gonna do. That should be good enough. If you have a problem after you install it, you can start. Um, after you install the ROM, you can try wiping cache partition, and if you go to advanced, you can also um, wipe down the cache. But I'm not gonna do it. I don't think you need to. In some instances, you do. Um, go back, and then what you're gonna do is go go to install zip from SD card. All right. And then hit the power button, and then choose it from SD card. Hit the power button, and go find uh, where you downloaded your ROM. And uh, I've actually downloaded it to uh, on my tab. I didn't actually copy over it from computer, so it'll be under download folder. And then there it is. It's the HC dash three point one underscore TouchWiz underscore UX dash full or whatever ROM you want to install. Um, so I'm going to choose that one. And I'm going to hit the power button and say yes and then give it about five minutes and you should have a new ROM and you can reboot and enjoy the new ROM um, so I'll be back when this is done hi all folks so it is done so you can go back press power button and reboot system power button and it should boot up shortly so I'll be back when it reboots with my new Touch Wiz UX ROM. Thanks. Bye bye. Hi, all folks. So it booted fine. Um, oh, I forgot to mention uh, make sure you back up your current stock ROM just in case something goes wrong. I have instruction. I have instructions on that on my galaxytabhacks.com. Anyway, we're going to change English to United States because that's where I live. And uh, start. Wi-Fi setup. Um, actually, let me do the setup part, and I'll 
Um, but, well, actually, you know what? I'll make it a, into another video on the review of the ROM itself. That way I can title this one as how to install a new ROM. And that's how you install a new ROM. Um, just You just gotta change the ROM file to whichever you're gonna use. And uh, I'll have a full review of this ROM uh, after this video. Anyway, thanks y'all. Subscribe. Um, see y'all later.